What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today we're talking about suspenders. What are suspenders? Are they better than belts? Are they good for shorter men? Should you wear them? What kind of suspenders should you buy? These are all great questions and I'm gonna to try to answer them as best as I can in this video. I wanna thank KK and J for supporting my mission by sponsoring this video. Uh, if you recognize the name KK and J, you might have seen their shirt tail garters in my video about how to keep your shirt tucked in. Uh, these are also called shirt stays and I think they're one of the best ways to keep your shirt uh, tucked in. Now KK and J, in addition to making traditional and sockless shirt tail garters, they also make suspenders. And like their shirt stays, these are handmade in Brooklyn. They're very high quality. They're gonna last you a very long time. So I'll be using a pair of their suspenders throughout the video as an example. And if you don't have any suspenders and you wanna get a pair, definitely check the link down below in the description. Okay, suspenders have been around since the early 1800s. And like any other fashion accessory, uh, they're subject to trend. And you know, I don't think they're gonna replace the belt anytime soon. But if you think about it, suspenders actually make a lot of sense. Now, I'm no physicist, but you know, if you're trying to keep your pants up and gravity is pulling them down, uh, suspenders are a pretty logical solution. A lot of people actually prefer them to belts. They say they're more comfortable uh, and they, they're more effective at keeping your pants up. Uh, especially, you know, if you've ever worn pants that are a little too big around the waist and you have a belt and you cinch it tight, but then there's like extra material kind of folded under the belt, it can be uncomfortable and your pants can droop throughout the day. Now granted, just because suspenders are a very logical solution to hold your pants up, it doesn't mean that you're gonna wear them all the time. For example, if you're wearing a very casual outfit like jeans and a t-shirt, uh, suspenders are gonna look kind of weird and a belt might make more sense. But for me, when I'm dressing up, like if I'm wearing a suit, I actually try to avoid belts. And so instead I opt for side adjusters and suspenders. And I think that this is an especially great look for shorter guys because it eliminates a horizontal line that kind of cuts you in half visually. So it's a very clean aesthetic, it's very comfortable, and I think it kind of elongates your figure a little bit. So when I buy suits or trousers, I make sure that they have suspender buttons installed so they're ready to go. Now, if you already have trousers and they don't have buttons installed, no worries, you can install them yourself. It's very easy to do at home, or you can take them to a tailor and have them sew in some buttons, and you can even have them remove the belt loops for you for like five bucks. Now, some suspenders, like the ones from KK and J, come with an extra set of buttons that you can use, uh, or you can just go to a craft store or something and buy some buttons or use some other ones that you have lying around. In terms of whether or not to leave the belt loops, it's kind of up to you. You know, some people would say, uh, you know, choose belts or suspenders, and if you're gonna wear suspenders, just remove the belt loops. Other guys wanna keep the option to wear a belt, so, you know, it's definitely up to you. I think menswear purists would say that it's much more elegant to remove the belt loops if you're gonna wear your pants with suspenders. Okay, so we know what suspenders are. We know that they're a great way to hold your pants up, especially with formal outfits. Let's talk about how to wear them. So there are really two main considerations, the size and the style. Let's talk about size. Suspenders come in different lengths and different widths. Now the standard length is about 46 inches, and this is gonna be fine for the vast majority of guys. Now, if you're really tall or really short, like I would say under 5'2", you might wanna look into custom length suspenders. Keep in mind, they're all adjustable, but if you're concerned about length, I would recommend uh, ordering custom length suspenders. I know KK and J will do this upon request, uh, so I would definitely take advantage of that. And the other component of size is width. That's the width of the actual bands of your suspenders. Now, the standard width of about one and three eighths inches is just fine for most body types. Um, if you're a bigger guy or want a more conservative look, you can wear wider suspenders. I'd say up to about two inches. And similarly, if you're a very thin guy or if you want a more fashion forward look, you can go with thinner suspenders. But I wouldn't go any thinner than about one inch because then you're kind of getting into like trendy, fashiony territory and you kind of give up some of the comfort and functionality that suspenders offer. Now, for most guys, again, the standard length and the standard width is just fine. So let's talk about the color and pattern, the style of your suspenders. Just like with pocket squares, suspenders don't really have to match the rest of your outfit perfectly. In fact, the color of your suspenders matters even less than that of your pocket square because 
they're really not gonna be seen that much. You know, suspenders are kind of like underwear in that you're gonna be wearing something over them, your jacket, and so people really won't see them very much. Um, so there aren't many rules about, you know, what color or pattern your suspenders have to be, but granted, you are probably gonna take your jacket off eventually, like if you're at a wedding, you're gonna hit the dance floor, take your jacket off, roll your sleeves up, and people are gonna see your suspenders. So we'll talk briefly about color and pattern. Now, just like with ties, solid colors and darker colors are gonna be more formal than lighter colors and patterns. In the same way, certain fabrics are gonna be more formal, like silk suspenders are gonna be more formal than suspenders made of heavier, rougher materials. Now, a good solid bet is solid color suspenders that are darker than your shirt. So for example, if you're wearing a blue suit with a light blue shirt, uh, dark blue suspenders are a great bet. In fact, I think if you could only own one pair of suspenders, solid navy blue is probably the most versatile choice. Now you do get bonus points if your suspenders complement or pick up on other colors in your outfit. For example, in this outfit, my KK and J suspenders have gold hardware and that picks up the gold in my tie and in my wristwatch, and I think uh, it all looks really great together. Now there is one part of your suspenders that should match the rest of your outfit, and that is the ends of your braces, which are typically made from leather. So just like with belts, you should try to match your leathers. So if your uh, suspenders have brown leather ends, then uh, they're gonna look best with brown leather shoes. Similarly, if you're wearing, say, a dark charcoal suit and black Oxfords, it's gonna look best if your suspenders have black leather ends. Now, this is all assuming you're not wearing clip-on suspenders, which are generally frowned upon. Listen, do what you want, but you know, I say if you're gonna wear suspenders, why not wear traditional button suspenders? I think they're a lot more elegant, they're very easy to install, and you know, why not? Now with matching leathers, some guys draw a hard line in the sand about this. Um, you know, it, I, I guess technically it is one of those menswear rules. I say just try to avoid clashing with uh, different types of leathers, but you know, it's not the end of the world if your shoes don't match your suspenders perfectly. Um, you know, you don't need to own a pair of suspenders in every shade of brown. You know, just do your best to match the leather on your suspenders to the leather in your shoes. Okay, and that's all you really need to know about suspenders. Uh, for me, suspenders are kind of like shirt tail garters. You know, I'm not gonna wear them all the time. I'm not gonna wear them every day. But when I do wanna wear them, like especially if I'm dressing up and going to a wedding or something, I'm really glad that I have a couple pairs on hand. Of course, I know some guys who wear them several times a week, you know, and they swear by them. So I think either way, it's a good idea to have one or two or three pairs of suspenders in your arsenal. All right, guys, if you have any questions about suspenders, let me know down in the comments. Definitely check out KK and J. Big thanks to them again for supporting my mission, sponsoring this video. And until next time, stay stylish. Mm -hmm.